Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel again. I'm your host Fahim Mushi. I'm a vocal coach, voice teacher and also a singer. And guys, today I'm going to be reacting to Floor Jansen. Or Floor Jansen, I think. Um, I'm super, super excited for this one because it's been a long time since I've reacted to her videos and boy, she is a fabulous, a fantastic vocalist. I mean, her technique, her artistry, spot on, spot on, okay? I love her to death. I'm really excited for this one. So this video is called Floor Jensen and Hank Ward, I'm assuming that's another vocalist, Phantom of the Opera, Bestie Zanger 2019, okay? So today is 15th October. 2019, so I'm two days late. Apologies for that. I know a couple of my vocal coaches buddies already uh, made a video on that. Now, I have not watched those ones, so this is gonna be my initial reaction. Yes, I'm being completely honest here. No lies here, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super, super excited for this one, okay? I mean, Florian, she's amazing. So, before we jump right into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and put a like on this video if you guys are enjoying my content. And feel free to check out my social media link below, uh, my Instagram and my Snapchat, where I usually share my videos on my you know my personal singing as well as you know me coaching other people out there helping them with their singing and whatnot and if you guys are you know into voice lessons if you guys want to do voice lessons with me then go ahead and book a lesson with me on fiverr.com um, it's on the description as well but yeah with all that being said let's go ahead and react and analyze this video and see what these guys have brought to the table So let me pause for a second. Um, now, you can hear that sound. It, it's a mixed voice. It's a type of mixed voice, right? It's a kind of like, it's not super low larynx, but it's in the low larynx kind of category. Um, it has some compression, okay? It's not like, oh, it has more compression, okay? It definitely has more compression. You can hear that. It's a mixed coordination, okay? It's a, uh, how do I describe it? It's a mixed voice with low lines. It's more in the kind of lighter mixed voice category as opposed to kind of chesty mixed voice because that's, that would be a different color, I suppose, for this song. So yeah, it's a light mix, okay? And I think she's doing a brilliant job as she's coming down in her chest voice. You can hear that she's picking up the weight and she's not going, ooh, she's not getting that. Okay, she's picking up the weight of her chest voice, okay? Which is beautifully executed. So it's a very balanced coordination, nice and well supported, really nice vowel choices that she's using here. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue and see what happens. Nice. Nice, and then at the end, like she's kind of like, eh, kind of like she kind of did a kind of brighter air vowel, which uh, had an interesting contrast to comp uh, comparing with what she was doing a few seconds ago. Okay, so that was kind of nice, I suppose. And that vowel looks like, like she kind of opened up there a little bit. Have a listen again. That vowel right there, that's a kind of, that's like, um, okay, that's a belt position. If she were to belt, that's the position she would use or that's the vowel she would use okay and then she went back to her kind of operatic tone you can hear that beautiful I like his tone. I actually don't know the singer, but just just by hearing that part, I can tell he's a very good vocalist, okay? He has this tone. Um, it's like in between musical theater and opera, I would say. Because if he were, like, let's say if he was doing something like, nah, nah, that would have been more contemporary. But it's not, it's not that dark either. It's like something in the middle. 
okay? And that's what I'm, what I usually like is that kind of mixture that's happening here and he's doing a brilliant job with that, okay? So his larynx is not super low, but it is lower than a neutral larynx, the larynx that you would speak with, okay? So that's a very interesting timbre. I'm gonna go ahead and continue so that I can give you guys more analysis later down the road, I suppose. <laughs> Nice, love the low notes. Nice. Now look at his tongue here for a sec. That F4. That note right there, that's the abridged note, okay? That's like a passaggio. That's the first bridge for almost every male singers out there. I mean, unless you're like a bass or like you know, a baritone per se, but that's the general area for the male voice, um, the passaggio area per se, and he's doing a brilliant job. You can see that he's retracting his tongue a little bit because that's what you actually have to do when you're singing with a dark tone. If you try to keep the uh, tip of the tongue behind the bottom teeth, um, you can still do it, but it's just not ideal, okay? You wanna retract the tongue a little bit. Not look to the Kermit, obviously, to the point of where it sounds like Kermit, but the way that he's doing, where he's covering the vowels really well, okay? So, yeah, awesome, awesome. Nice, I love the low notes. And you can hear that it's still maintaining that cover, but inside your mind, still maintaining it. It's not a man, man. He's not doing that because um, a lot of people, you know, who try to imitate the opera sound, sometimes they can get it in the uh, higher part of the range, so like in the first passage area, even higher, second passage area, and then when they come down, they lose that kind of position. Okay, but definitely he's not doing that. So he's doing a really good job, fantastic job. I know. <laughs> Really good. Oh, key change. Nice. What about the back, that inflection? I love that low note. Wow. Oh, really good, really good. Okay, that is interesting. So now, while maintaining that kind of operatic kind of timbre, he's actually adding distortion on top of that. And the way that he's doing that is actually very healthy. You can hear that overlaying kind of distortion, those kind of false folds, arrhythmic cartilage vibrating on top of the true vocal folds, as opposed to grinding the tissue. He's not doing that, okay? So he's in a very good spot because um, actually adding distortion with a low larynx is a little bit trickier than usually with a high larynx or adding with a twang, okay? Now, that can depend from person to person, but generally speaking, that type of distortion with a low larynx is actually trickier. So he's doing a really good job with that, amazing. Nice. It, it's almost like um, it's almost like it's going into that kind of pig squeal position. Like I mean, it's it's definitely not a uh, scream, okay? But it's almost like he's shaping the throat position in that manner. But there's a tone underneath that, right? Obviously, he, um, he's not screaming here, singing per se. So the two folks are engaged. Nice. Nice. Wow. Very dramatic. I like that. I love how they're communicating with each other as they're performing, okay? Like they're really getting, you know, in, uh, at each other. Not in a bad way, of course, or not in a sexual way per se, <laughs> but really connecting, okay? Really connecting. And one, uh, these, uh, these are the things that, you know, a lot of people don't talk about. When you're performing out there, it's not just about the vocals anymore. I mean, yes, that is like one of the major uh, component, but you also have to engage the crowd. You know, if you're singing with somebody, you also have to engage with them and whatnot, you know, and you know, they're both doing that, which is 
absolutely amazing, okay? So yeah, good stuff, really good stuff. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I love that kind of high note he went. Let me listen to that again real quick. So that was an A4, okay? Wow, B flat. Okay, now she's singing with this. That kind of uh, fluty, lighter head voice, pianissimo head voice opera soprano tamper because now she's doing that but before um what she was singing she was actually in a mixed coordination okay so don't confuse that with this sound because this is much lighter um i believe this is piano and that one was more like a piano forte okay or maybe mezzo forte because something in that kind of area depending uh going back and forth back and forth in that area okay so yeah good stuff beautiful Beautiful G sharp five. Beautiful. It, B flat five at the top. Beautiful. Wow. D six at the top. Crazy. Wow! Wow! Absolutely amazing. Oh, that's it? Okay. Okay, I suppose that is it. Um, so, wow. Wow. That was freaking amazing, okay? So, let me go ahead and first wrap this video up real quick and then I'll give you guys a little bit more analysis and some personal thoughts. All right, all right. So, first of all, that was absolutely an epic performance okay done by both of them okay as you guys know i've reacted to flory Jensen before i know her um she's a really good vocalist obviously however i did not know the other singer uh hank port or hank port um and he's a fabulous vocalist as well okay i really like that kind of operatic timbre that he was singing i mean that is essentially an operatic tone as the song kind of progressed he kind of went towards more opera opera rather than uh, musical theater per se, but it started off with a little bit of musical theater uh, placement, you know, like the, that type of uh, sound, I suppose. Uh, but they both did a brilliant job, okay? And I heard him um, hitting some high notes, kind of like a B4 um, that he hit at the end. And Flori Jensen, I mean, wow, she took that beautiful light soprano head voice, pianissimo head voice, all the way up to a D6, okay? That was beautifully executed, um, like, the vibrato, the tonal placement and whatnot, she was doing a brilliant job. I'm actually, um, uh, believe me or not, I'm actually more interested into her mid-range, okay? So when she was singing um, in the beginning and at the mid part and whatnot, um, she was in this beautiful light mix coordination, uh, which is not a hand voice or a falsetto, but it's still a mix voice coordination with slightly dopey or lower larynx, and she was shaping her vowels from that position. It was beautifully executed, and as she came down, she picked up that weight from her chest voice and she put that chest equality there in certain vowels like that A ah vowel that I mentioned um, at the beginning of the video. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this performance. I mean, they were really engaging with the audience and especially engaging with each other as the song progressed and got more intense, you know, which was really beautiful. I really liked that. So, um, yeah, excellent, excellent. I mean, I didn't hear anything that's like technically wrong per se. So they were pretty much flawless, I would say, okay? Really good performance, I really, really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I suppose that's all the analysis I have to say for this video, so I'm gonna end this video here. So there you go, guys, that's my reaction and my analysis of Four Jensen and Hank Ford, Phantom of the Opera. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis, because if you did, then be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my reaction and my analysis, and if you guys wanted to do more uh, Florianson reaction video or anybody else for that matters, then let me know down in the comments and I will try to get them back to you as soon as possible. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.